Hey, Bobby, is this how your species mates? I, I kind of picture there to be more probing. Maybe only probe humans? Don't I just feel special? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Barn Finders. That game where one minute you're haggling over pocket change to sell some lady a used book, and the next you're driving your pickup truck into space to make moonshine on the moon for aliens. Like, up to the point where I'm not even gonna try to guess what's in store for us today. Tell me the truth now, did you get that joke, Uncle Billy? You know, in store for us today? Because we've run a store? Okay, I, I kinda deserve that. Speaking of the store, some of you guys with a keen eye may notice that I redecorated the place in between episodes. You know, it took me long enough, but I finally got around to poorly painting the walls and sanding all the paint off the floors. I kind of figured that might make a difference with how much people are willing to spend, but I haven't really found any change. It might be because of all the air dandruff in here, but there's nothing we can really do about that. I got $16,000. It should be more than enough for whatever's to come next. I think we had an email from Steve Gray about a dimension slicer. Yeah, I don't like the sounds of that. I don't know what an alien dimension slicer is, but like, I, I don't even trust Uncle Billy with a deli slicer. Hi, I need a dimension device to go back home. While you look for Bobby, can you send me one? I will mind transfer the galaxy moonshine when you reach your destination. I really wish I could reply to these emails with some simple follow-up questions. Like, do I really need to go looking for Bobby? Like, he usually finds me, he's one of my best customers. Every time I open up the store, he shows up to buy something. And also, what exactly is my destination? Because I really doubt we can get much further than the moon on a single tank of gas. I'm concerned, to say the least. Oh. Uh, it looks like we're going to Lumber Mill Barn. I mean, I, I know I'm technically a barn finder, but, like, why? I don't know if I should be upset or relieved that Uncle Billy took the rockets off this thing. He already downs a case of Natty Light for hauling ass through the desert, so it's probably for the best that there is no rocket fuel involved. No cinematic on my arrival, huh? That's pretty weird. About as weird as following up the moon with a giant rusty barn. Oh crap, this is an auction. Fortunately, I have a whole lot of money, so we should be able to... Win this, uh, usually there are people around to bid against. What exactly are you doing? <laughs> Just DJing the fence, huh? Okay, you keep that up. I'm gonna look around and see what's going on. What kind of lumber mill has bars on the windows? Like, maybe they were really paranoid about UFOs, but at the same time, if aliens are gonna show up, they're not going through the window, they're going through the roof. And this does say for sale by auction. I can start an auction. Oh. Where did you all come from? You gotta be kidding me. Six, that seven thousand dollars. Oh, come on. Oh, please tell me I brought enough money. Please. Oh, I should have been paying attention. Okay, 500 bucks. 500 bucks over here. 10,000. Christ, there better be something valuable in here. I swear to God. You, no, no, you all shut the hell up. Go back to whatever gopher hole you were hiding in. Yes! Why was I just excited? I just spent $11,000 on a rusty abandoned barn. Like they were only gonna give me a thousand dollars for the dimension slicer. There's no way I'm gonna earn my money back on all. There's nothing here. Oh my god! I I'm gonna sell it to the government. I'm gonna sell the dimension slicer to the government. Screw it. They'll definitely give me more money. Maybe I can use this to paint the spots I missed at the store. What the hell is this? Duke and Billy borders for life. So, Duke is Billy's brother? That means Duke is my uncle! Or my father. Oh no. Actually, now that I think about it, where is Uncle Billy? He clearly drove us here, but I didn't see him at the auction. And he's not out here now. Duke is here, though. Doesn't want to say much, but this is super weird. 
There's another one. Hostile takeover, betrayal in the paradise. So, did Duke try to take over Barn Finders, or did Uncle Billy? Who was the betrayer, and who was betrayed? I have a lot of questions for Uncle Billy wherever he went. Is there anything out back? No, of course not. I spent $11,000 on newspaper clippings and a ball. I mean, I should be able to mark it for pickup, and then someone has to come get it. Okay, so he is here. Question is, where? He must be hiding somewhere. You up there, Uncle Billy? Secret secrets to tell us about? Tucker's lumber mill out of business. So this lumber mill belonged to Duke Tucker. So maybe that's the business that they were talking about. And there's one over here that also says, aliens did it, claims Duke Tucker. So did the aliens ruin my family? I'm so confused right now. I'm gonna down a really old half drank beer and grab myself a pair of keys. Okay, maybe they stored a mountain of cash. Something tells me there's absolutely nothing in the cash register. Great. Well, we'll take it anyway and see if we can find anything else. Assuming this must be where I need to go? Okay. Uh, that's a lot of garbage. No. Okay. I swear to God, if this is Uncle Billy down there playing with a light bright, I am going to have very strong words for him. What? the hell am I looking at right now? Um... Hi? Steve? Oh, it is Steve! Bring this bottle to our leader, Bobby. Something about all this feels very, very wrong. Like, I'm being lied to. Do you have anything else to say, Steve? I added something extra to the moonshine. So you want me to deliver a drink to your leader which you've added a little mystery something to? Uh, I don't know about this. Why do I get the feeling I'm getting used? Some kind of alien pawn in the grand scheme of things. Hi, welcome barn finder. Our leader is waiting for you. I'm kind of hoping your leader would be hot, but apparently it's Bobby. Is anyone else the slightest bit concerned that they've been watching our every move this entire time? They also have holograms of everybody we've met, and they're all red except for Uncle Billy's. His is blue for some reason. Weird. They also have a hologram of Mother Clucker, who is also blue. So it seems like us barn finders are somehow special, but I don't quite understand why or how. Holy crap, this is a uh, lot more than I bargained for today. I'm really gonna hope that one of them is into World of Warcraft and that that isn't some kind of other alien species that I need to be concerned about. I also don't know what the hell this is. I don't even want to find out. It looks like the kind of thing that they may or may not put in my butt. Hey, that's our truck. Weird, what are you doing, alien? We've been studying America for centuries. Have you now? Why don't you have a name? They're all just named Steve, except for you. You're, you're just random alien. How about you, alien? I guess our leader, Bobby, likes you. He, he does. At least I thought he did. Listen, I don't mean to be that guy, but it kind of cost me $11,000 to get in here. I don't suppose you guys can easily replicate American money, can you? Our galaxy moonshine was stolen. We need a new bottle. Well, I happen to have a new bottle, but it's gonna cost you guys. Maybe $15,000? How does that sound? Reasonable? No moonshine, no party. I don't want to die as a virgin. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just gonna throw this out there right now. If I hand over this moonshine and they break out into some kind of spontaneous little gray moon orgy, I'm dipping, I'm out, I'm completely uninterested. I saw this dance once, Earth is fun. This is what we get for beaming YouTube into space. <laughs> Can you please not? <laughs> Thank you. 
Were you gonna eat that guitar? No? Okay, I'll take it then. I really don't like the look of this. I'm pretty sure they call it an energy core, but we just call it people. Or what used to be a person. It seems like they're varying random items that I would find and then combining them with whatever is left to make the energy that powers their ship. Please tell me that's not you, Uncle Billy. The exit has been conveniently blocked, and for some reason none of the other doors work, so I'm thinking the only place we can go is the disco? I'm really hoping disco means the same thing to us as it does to them. Really, they speak English! I can't imagine they're gonna disco my butthole. Okay... Uh... Huh. It's a club. Not much disco. There's the man, the myth, the legend himself. I suppose we should go give him his spiked moonshine. Should I mention that to him? Is that important? Hi, Bobby. <laughs> Just chilling out, huh? I brought you a gift. Oh, there's Uncle Billy. You're not a skeleton. Is that a ticket to Hawaii? It actually happened. We're going to Hawaii, Uncle Billy! <laughs> Uncle Billy? Oh, sweet Jesus. Hey, Bobby, is this how your species mates? I, I kind of picture there to be more probing. Maybe only probe humans? Don't I just feel special? <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, if the women look like that, then maybe count me in? Is there a way for me to get down there? I didn't even see Uncle Billy down there. <laughs> Man, some of these guys have moves and they're all guys. Mm, no, not quite my thing. So what exactly is your deal? Some kind of spine problem? You look like you've been smoking something that wasn't moonshine tonight. <laughs> Let me just turn that off, sorry about that. <laughs> my cousin Steve is dumb like a door. Oh, trust me, I know, I've run into seven of them, I wanna say. God, I wanna get down there so bad. I, I have to go around this way, I swear, if I go through this door and they turn off the holograms, I am going to be pissed. Just, just hold on, Uncle Billy, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> Maybe, possibly, hopefully. Oh, come on, no, I'm, I'm back here again. This seems to be some kind of UFO bay, and if Bobby's private quarters are up there, then I would imagine this door has to lead me to the party. It was locked before. Please open, please, please. Not quite what I was hoping for. Okay, well, all hope isn't lost quite yet. Goodbye, suckers. <gasps> what? You're currently missing the craziest butthead alien rave I've ever seen to watch a couple of pigs. So maybe you could explain what's going on here? Dang, they locked my cousin by mistake. The pig is your cousin? Bernard, Bernard, can you hear me? <laughs> I'm sorry to break this to you, buds, but I don't think Bernard can hear you. Pretty sure Bernard is dead. The twitching is just rigor mortis setting in. <gasps> Why is this here? Just don't understand. I could technically get in there if I could get in here, maybe. Maybe this will lead me to the party. <gasps> I still got my hopes up. I, I really don't need to see the world's coldest deers right now. They are stiff as a board. That's upsetting. <laughs> Anything over, oh. This was where they were keeping the thief. Yeah! They were keeping him here for a long time. Uh, I wonder if I can get this open somehow. You see, human technology is so much easier to hack because we're stupid. <gasps> we leave wires out that lead to switches. Maybe I can figure this out? Oh! They suspected Uncle Billy of stealing the moonshine. That makes sense. 
<laughs> Actually, now, now that I think about it, I'm more surprised that he wasn't the one to steal it. He is the type to down a bottle of moonshine. We've also got Agent Agent, the thief, and the alien thief. Interesting. As well as that weird stag with the underwear on its head for whatever reason. I don't know how to get in here, and I don't think I really care. To be perfectly honest. I just can't keep screwing around here and beating stuff up forever. Maybe there's something in the next room? Am I gonna steal a UFO? I'm gonna try to steal a UFO. Screw it. I'm sure there's more stuff around me right now, but maybe I could... Oh! No way! I thought I was gonna fly it out of here, but I'm just gonna tow it. I don't think they're gonna be too happy that we sell their stuff. This still isn't adding up. Like, I found the dimension slicer. It's here in their hangar. It's like the aliens already have it. Why do they need it to go home? I guess technically they don't need it to go home. Steve needs it to go home. So Steve isn't with the rest of the aliens. What are you willing to bet Steve is the thief? And, and he put something in the moonshine that he helped me make to give to Bobby. Oh, that's not good. Did I just poison their leader? Oh, crap. Uncle Billy? Uncle Billy, we got problems. Hey, if I was an alien stomach pump, where would I be? Here is where we teleport items to America. Can you teleport items from America? Like stomach pumps? It would really help right about now. God damn it, they're all off partying and getting late. I need someone to help me. I may or may not have poisoned your entire race. Hello? I don't want to take the exits. I've still got a couple of random little items left to find, but I also kind of want to undo my colossal galactic mistake. Something tells me even after finding all of the items and the golden toilet paper, I'm not gonna make up my $11,000. And if that wasn't bad enough, wiping out other intelligent life in the universe is a pretty big kick in the pants. Uncle Billy, are you sure we wanna tow that thing? I don't even know if it's phased into this galaxy properly. <laughs> Either way, it's coming home with us and it had better be worth a crap load of money. If I end up being right, I want you all to remember that I called it, and that sending Steve a dimension slicer is a huge, huge mistake. <laughs> it's gone. And we seem to still exist, so that's at least somewhat promising. And now we have an email from Cousin Kevin. Uh, what? He wants me to find him a thick dog. <laughs> what? Okay, I, I, I'm gonna save this for later. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Barn Finders, guys. I keep expecting every episode to be the last episode, and then we get something even stranger and more ridiculous thrown at us, and this story is actually interesting. I am very curious as to what's happening, so if you guys wanna see me return for probably one last time, be sure to leave a like on the video, let me know, and maybe we can finish that space suit so that we can take this thing for a joyride without Uncle Billy. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.